These are the drawer organizers I bought for the baby's room. I accidentally bought two packs, so I'm returning one. So do that return today. Good morning, welcome back to another vlog. Today is my first official day of maternity leave, which just feels so insane. And I have so much nesting to do, I can't even explain it. The hospital bag is like half packed. There's clothes all over the baby nursery. The bottles, the binkies have not been sterilized. There is literally a ton to do and I I'm gonna take advantage of having this week off. Hopefully the baby doesn't come this week, fingers crossed, and I have time to get my life in order, but if he does come this week, I guess we're good enough. You know, like we have the car seat, the bassinet, like we're ready, but I'm not, I'm not ready. <laughs> so I literally just walked out of the house and the mail lady was passing. And first of all, she was so cute. She was like asking me what I was doing, all this stuff, but we got a letter and a package from our pair, our friends, parents they sent baby clothes and just so cute and thoughtful um and that leads me into what i'm actually doing today i'm going to be going to panera because you guys know i love my panera but i'm going to write every single thank you card from the baby shower because i never got around to it and it's now been like five weeks and i need to get these thank yous out before the baby comes or it's just never gonna happen i'm not leaving panera until they're done and going straight to the post office, buying stamps and mailing them because it is time. So, my bagel, cinnamon crunch. Obviously I always ask for it, extra toasted. And then my latte, water, and then gonna watch some YouTube until I'm done eating and then I'm gonna get to writing my thank you. So, I think Julian Hunter posted a video last night. So that is what I'm gonna watch. These are the cards that I bought for the thank yous. I thought they're so cute. And the inside of the envelopes also have little bears. I'll link these below for you guys because they're so adorable. And we are trying to get some of these out. I feel like writing the addresses are honestly the worst part. So that I'm not excited for. But at least I have like half of them done, I would say. And I still have to write a few. Um, to pull up my like Amazon registry and look who I did not write them for yet. So that is what the goal is for right now. It's already 11.20. So I want to be done with this by like noon to 12.30 max. So I can get home, do a walk with Frank and start some other things I have to do. just finished all of the thank yous covering the address but we really have like 30 Christmas stamps left over from Christmas cards and I'm not wasting stamps because they're expensive so people are getting Christmas stamps on their thank yous I hope they don't notice but whatever it is what it is but they're all finished the stickers on I had enough stamps so I literally just have to go home I forgot my um, address stamp so I don't have to write my address a hundred times so I'm gonna go home stamp them all and then I'm gonna bring them to the post office today so we are done with this task in the car it is a toasty one we're getting like a heat wave here in the northeast I think I'm gonna go into labor in the middle of a heat wave because I don't think any day this week is under 90 degrees and that is a toasty one so it's gonna be a rough week being this pregnant but honestly the heat hasn't been bothering me all that much I've been living at the pool pretty much honestly and whenever I have free time I try to like enjoy water because it is hot and my, luckily my parents have a pool they live down the street and I can go over whenever I want and I honestly think I may do that at some point today I have a lot of things to get done 
but I might enjoy some time at the pool at some point and then do my chores later. I feel like I'm a big um, productive person like at nighttime. Like, when Matt is ready to settle down for the night, I'm like, okay, let's get all our chores done. Let's clean the shower. Let's do this random stuff. And he's like, calm down. Like, it's time to relax for the night. And I'm like, this is the time of the day where I thrive. Like, I, I get so productive at nighttime. Like, in the middle of the night, I feel like I'm like, okay, let's get everything done. But, oh well. So, I'm going to go home. Going to do walk with Frank. It is 12.50. So, that's going to be a lot longer than I was hoping for. But I wrote them all, and now I just have to, uh, to put our address on and mail them when I drop off the UPS return Amazon package. So, that's that. Hi, Frank. Hi, Frank. Oh, baby. You got a nice haircut. You look nice and dapper. Oh, yeah. Ready, right, say, say hi to the camera. Say hi, you look nice and nice dapper. Say you look nice and dapper. Oh, yeah. Frank. I You're literally the... checked your location because it's 1 o'clock. I was like, yeah. she's still there after saying that she was done with the... Ew, yeah. Frank, stop. Literally just and then it was so like, tasty. And then it was like right here. And I was like, oh, no. She's here and then I go over and sit down next to Frank. Like, Thank you. From Jake's parents. Yeah. That's nice. So I wrote them one of the cards too, and then I ran out. Right. It is time to start sterilizing everything. So I have my breast pump, the manual like breast pump here, um, a bunch of binkies. We're gonna boil some water to sanitize them. I also have some just like random little like things that are dishwasher safe. These little things, dishwasher safe. I want like the butt brush, just sanitize a little. So I'm gonna put them all on the top rack of the dishwasher. Please don't judge me if this is like not correct. I I think it'll be okay. They do say dishwasher safe, so I'm gonna dishwash this stuff and then stuff he's gonna have like in his mouth, like this kind of stuff, is gonna be <laughs> is gonna be washed and boiled. So I'm gonna wash everything first. We have a million types of babies and all the nipples and all the bottles are gonna be sanitized right now. The haka, the bottles. Everything is getting cleaned. I have my breast pump out so I could do these bottles. This, <laughs> this is the breast pump I got. It's a Spectra S2, so the one that has to be plugged in, but I think that'll be okay. If we ever need to pump in the car, my car does have an outlet, so have you ever tried that it will be okay. Yet? No. You don't even know how it works. Not at all. You're going to get so blindsided by this baby. I know. That's what I'm worried about. There's so much to, like do so I gotta sanitize all this stuff the only thing that they said not to sanitize is the tubing so I did a whole class on the breastfeeding so I do know how to sanitize this stuff and they just said not to sanitize the tubing so that's the only thing I'm not going to sanitize and yeah there's definitely a lot to sanitize let me tell you I seriously needed a break. 
I did so much bottle washing. I feel like I'm going crazy. So I've decided I'm going to stop for a little and um, go to the pool and then I'll do, I think I have like two more loads of stuff to do. I have all my breast pump stuff. So like the manual and the real breast pump I have to do. And I honestly just don't have the desire right now. It's beautiful, it's like three o'clock and I'm gonna go, I have a few returns to make. I have to make, send the cards out and then I'm gonna go lay in the pool I think for a little bit so I can enjoy some of the day. I think that is it. I literally filled up the uh, dryer rack and then I was just putting stuff on paper towels. I heard not to use like dish towels. So I've been using paper towels and honestly, I'm doing my best. I have no idea if I'm like doing this stuff wrong, but honestly, it is what it is. I'm sure it'll be fine and good enough. I heard to wash and then sanitize. So that's what I've been doing. And honestly, I want to know from you guys, all the moms out there, have you, do you do that every time you wash bottles or does it just become like you just wash them in the sink like with really hot water do you boil water every time and sanitize them again every single time or is that like a first time use thing the kitchen is a mess again i like i feel like it's never ending cleaning and we don't even have the child here yet so i'm like holy moly but there's a bunch of crap all out i can't wait to put these bottles back together once they're dry but i'm just gonna let them sit there for a few hours and dry off and then i'll if they're still wet when I'm ready to put them away, I'll dry them with paper towels, so. All right, got my pile of thank yous. I think I have the other thing in the car still that I have to return. Started a load of laundry. I'm feeling very productive. I feel like maternity leave is good for me, <laughs> starting early. Um, back in the car. And I am exhausted. My body is really starting to like ache and my sciatic nerve has been killing me lately like it's been so bad and I feel like it's really bad now because I've been standing so long doing the bottles and pacifiers and all it took me like an hour and a half to sanitize them all and I still have like a decent amount of stuff to do which is crazy to me I feel like so a little overwhelming I'm gonna go drop all this stuff off enjoy maybe an hour, probably two-ish hours at the pool and then I will get my butt home. I got home. I finished up the bottles and now I just made myself some dinner. I made raviolis, which was like a staple of mine in my first trimester. So bringing it back home. It's so hot, holy crapola. Um, and this is actually the book I've been reading. I'm not a huge fan, but I'm going to finish it. I'm like 300 pages in. So I might try to read a little bit more tonight and then keep cleaning, but I'm happy the bottles are all done. The last set of them are all drying right now. And there are a lot of pieces to a bottle, that's all I know. Um, so I'm gonna eat my ravioli. I always mix uh, red sauce and Alfredo to make like a blush sauce. It's the best. It is now 9.30, can't see that, but coming in the baby room to organize and take care of some of the clothes and everything all over. Everything's still sectioned out into age piles, and I have to start folding. I did a little bit um, the other day, so this is all newborn, this is zero to three, and this is just like little onesies that are not like sleepers, so... Now, Frank came to join. I gotta hang this stuff up, I think, is what I'm gonna do, and go from there.
on the room tonight. Got all the piles done. Just had that little bed stuff, um, bath stuff, like swaddles, weird stuff. But for the most part, we're getting there. Hello, so. vlog. Happy Tuesday. Today's been a stressful day for me. And I haven't really vlogged. I've been like kind of emotional, I'm not gonna lie. Because this maternity leave stuff is proving to be as difficult as I was expecting it to be. I've been like dreading this process. For some reason, New Jersey doesn't let you apply for it until you're out of work, so I had to wait. And now I'm out of work, which in hindsight, shouldn't have taken off this early because you don't get paid nearly as much as I was expecting to get paid. I kept seeing everywhere that was 85%, and I was like, okay, that's not that bad. Like. I will do it for 85%, take the extra week, just like be able to nest better and just have some me time before the baby comes. But it is not 85% people, not even close to 85%. <laughs> um, they cut you off at a maximum of like, it's like $1,000 a week. And that's just like, I don't know, whatever. It is what it is at this point. Like I've taken the time off, I can't really, backtrack and be like oh I want to work now because they're just gonna be like what are you doing like I don't know so it is what it is thankfully like we can do that and I mean it's not the best case scenario but we'll be okay we'll be able to manage it it's just like a little bit more stressful than we were hoping and on top of that it's like they don't even review claims for four to five weeks. Like, when do you get paid? I don't even understand. Like, people that, like, live paycheck to paycheck, I feel like you just wouldn't be able to do it. I just don't get it. So, whatever. This morning, I was working on the YouTube videos, working on all the maternity leave stuff. I was calling the state a million times. I was cleaning the kitchen, um, just doing a bunch of stuff, like, organizing the laundry room, trying to get my life a little bit more ready for a baby. And that being said, it's now four o'clock and I'm heading to the pool for like an hour just to relax and decompress a little because I've had one too many emotional breakdowns today and I just can't. So I brought a book. This is the book that I'm starting. I finished my last one, the one that's called like Mad About You. It was like not very good. It was okay. Not my favorite. And I just had like kind of a hard time getting through it. I feel like the last few chapters were pretty good but besides that I was like not too into it but now I'm starting this book which I love this author and her last two books the past two summers have been like my favorite so I'm excited for this I got it at Costco and it's called this summer will be different so time to start that I'm also going to the beach tomorrow with my mom as like my last hurrah before this baby and I think I'll finish that book probably tomorrow at the beach. So that's that. And then we are pretty ready. Like the house is fairly clean. I have to do a little bit more cleaning. I got to cut Matt's hair tonight. And yeah, so I think we're pretty close to being ready for this baby. We're back. What, Matt? Oh my god, I love him. Stinky boy. Okay, we just got home. I now have to get the YouTube video up. My computer like kind of closed out on me when I was uploading it and now it says two hours. So I'm gonna just delete that and then restart because that is insane. We're doing burgers for dinner. I like tuck my hair up in my hat when I'm at the pool because I always forget a hair tie. But I look crazy. I'm in charge, I'm always in charge of buns and the accoutrements when we do burgers. So I'm gonna get the lettuce out, all the toppings. And it's always like a super easy meal. I love doing burgers because there's like no prep to it. I feel like it's so easy. Got my buns. I always keep my buns in the fridge. They last so much longer. And I'm gonna do two burger buns, one hot dog bun, and then Matt is gonna do one lettuce bun so we get more buns while we're out too on um, thursday we have frozen buns hamburger those ones from walmart okay oh frank dinner time we got a burgers 
hot dogs. This is your burger, unseasoned. Maybe the less burnt ones. Thank you. Here's your burger. Got all of our toppings. And you put it on the top side. Give me two top bottoms. Crackhead. <laughs> I also made my raspberry leaf tea. Some lemonade in here. <laughs> and it's really good, so. Yeah, I just got the video up. <laughs> I always like to run through it a little, make sure everything's working the way it's supposed to. Look how cute my Frank is. But now we're gonna clean up. Matt already started taking stuff in. Finished my tea pretty much. And it is haircut night, so unfortunately we have to cut Matt's hair. Seven o'clock right now. Hopefully we'll be done by eight, but we're gonna go take a walk with Frank. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning, 9.45. Looks a little crazy. We are starting our morning with a little walk for Frank. And then he's all hooked up already. We're waiting for dad. Um, and then we're actually, I'm heading to the beach with my mom today. It's my last like beach day of the summer, which is crazy, but I really wanted to get a beach day in before baby came. So mom and I are gonna head down to LBI and do a beach day. I really wanna read my book and just like veg out and do nothing, like no interaction. I feel like the past few times I went to the beach, we were with like groups and you have to obviously talk to people and I love like seeing people at the beach and hanging out and talking, but I just want like a day to like do nothing. <laughs> so I'm gonna, after we walk Frank really quick, I'm gonna run, get some food and head to the beach with mom. I'm packing up my beach bag. I have this little bag my friend gave me from, I think she got it at Marshall's. It's super cute. It's a perfect beach bag. We have a towel. I have like a big water to refill my Hydro Flask. I have a claw clip. I got my sunscreen. I have Tylenol. And a few granola bars, which should be all I need. I need some trash out of here. Yeah, that should be good. Got some snacks. And I just need my book, which is this one. I really didn't read much yesterday because my aunt was over. So that's my book. I'm gonna get my water filled up good. And then I'm gonna head out. I did my vitamin water with a little bit of caffeine in it. This one does have caffeine, 60 milligrams. And then I got a bacon, egg, and cheese on a bagel. I actually asked them to make it because there wasn't any out. And yeah, I got a fresh bacon, egg, and cheese. And then for lunch, I did get a hoagie. I do ask them to heat up the meat, like just the meat before they make the sandwich. And I feel safe with that. So I do that and then chips for lunch at the beach. Okay, I'm back home from the beach. Definitely got some color. Don't know what that is. That looks really red. Um, but I was playing with fetch with Frank and I have him hooked up now. And he like won't come for our walk. He's like on the couch and won't leave the couch. But um, the beach day was literally beautiful. What is this? <laughs> um, it's like a high of 75 on the beach all day. And it got up to like, I think close to 95 here, like 93. So it was a great day. I'm so happy I went. And honestly, I might try to go back before the baby comes. If I have time. Like honestly, I just am playing it by day now because who knows. 
But if the baby's not here on Friday, maybe I'll go because it's supposed to be like 99 here, like crazy hot. And I just would rather not be in that temperature. So we're about to take a little family walk. We're going to do the two miles, but on the beach we did a lot of walking to try to get this baby out too. I think walking helps move things along. I'm drinking my tea. I'm ready. I'm ready to meet him, but look at Frank. <laughs> You ready, Frank? You ready? Come on. Let's go. This is my dog. Seems good. Got some Rita's to split. It's really late now. We just got back from Rita's on the end of our walk. We were like hoping we'd spot a Mr. Softy and we didn't and we were like, okay, we want water ice. So we went to Rita's and just split a mango water ice and now it's 8.30, I still haven't eaten dinner, but I had my dessert first. So I'm making some ravioli just because it's so easy and I had an open, uh, open bag of them and I have open sauce in the fridge I opened like two days ago. So I'm like, better use it. And also, at the same time, I'm making two pans of ziti because I'm looking crazy. I'm making two pans of baked ziti, which is like my favorite meal ever, but I really wanted to be able to meal prep things to have for when the baby came. And no, it's not the healthiest thing to meal prep, but it's super easy to first of all make and second of all have frozen and be able to throw it in the oven at any point when baby's here if we want like a nice home cooked meal and not want to cook food. So I'm gonna make two pans of that, throw it in the freezer, and we will have ziti for a while once baby gets here, like whenever we need an easy meal. So I feel like that's always like a good hack. It doesn't have to be pasta or ziti. It could be a lot healthier if you want it to be healthier, but I feel like food is always just gonna be like last priority when you're dealing with a newborn and I really just don't wanna have to worry about what I'm eating or not having food on hand and stuff like that because I feel like when I'm in stressful situations, I just don't eat. And I feel like a lot of people do that and I don't wanna do that because that's not healthy. So going to make my ziti, eat my dinner and maybe finish or like keep reading my book for the rest of the night. Here are the ingredients for my ziti. I do rigatoni, I'm doubling everything. So usually you just use like half of this, but I got two boxes of rigatoni, two jars of sauce. I use the Bertoli sauce. My autofocus is off, I'm sorry. Bertoli sauce, ricotta cheese. Usually you use half of this. Um, Parmesan, you don't use this full bag, but I have that. And then this full bag of mozzarella. So that is what goes in the ziti. I'm about to start the noodles. My ravioli just finished. They're so cute and little baby raviolis. I love them. You ready to pour the sauce in? Yeah. While it's all hot? Yeah. On the bottom? Both sauces. Cheese tax, the cheese tax. <laughs> <laughs> Love that song. <laughs> Good. What are you doing? Just Italian? Yeah. Oh, Just Italian. Why? Can you see salt? Right, now do the other, and then we'll like just keep going back and forth. We should have got the smaller ones. Me on the big pants. Frank, stop. That would have been a double homicide. <laughs> Frank, get down. You've had your cheese stacks. The cheese stacks. 
cheese tax. The cheese tax. <laughs> Just finished the two pans of ziti. I'm gonna cover them with tin foil and we have like lids for them too and then put them in the outside freezer and just have them there for when we are ready to eat them and easy throw in the oven meals. It is now nine o'clock, a little after nine, and we finished our cleanup, all the things, so we're gonna chill for the rest of the night. I think Matt's gonna hang and like do video games, do his own thing. I'm gonna read or watch YouTube, I haven't decided yet. But it's time to just relax, and that is that. I'm gonna end this vlog here. Make sure you subscribe, stick around. There's gonna be a ton more vlogs coming. Of course, the baby is coming soon, so if you're interested in any of that, make sure you subscribe, stick around, and we will see you guys soon. Bye, guys.